Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new on this channel, and if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, then please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification. And if you have missed our previous videos, then you can find links in the description box. In today's video, I'm going to show, how to change calibration values of any heart compatible transmitter by using heart communicator. So, please watch this video till the end. First of all, let's start with, how to connect heart communicator to transmitter. As you can see, this diagram shows, how to connect the 475 field communicator to a heart loop. It is necessary to connect 250 ohm load resistor, if less than 250 ohm resistance is present in heart loop. For example, when you calibrate the device on bench, it is necessary to connect 250 ohm load resistor to establish connection with transmitter. In this section, I am going to show, how to set calibration range in smart transmitter by using heart communicator. First of all, turn on the heart communicator by pressing and holding the power button until the green light is on, and the power key blinks. When device is on, from the main menu, tap the heart icon to start application. The 475 communicator will request the manufacturer's code and model number from the radar unit. This information is used to load device descriptor, if one is installed on the heart communicator. And if the, the device descriptor is not installed, the 475 communicator will use heart universal, and common commands to program the radar. As you can see, this message will appear, when device descriptor is not found. Tap on yes button to proceed to home screen. The home screen displays primary variable, primary variable loop current, the calibrated lower range value, and the calibrated upper range value. First of all, let's learn, how to change calibration values from the home screen. As you can see, range can be changed directly by selecting menu item, which is PVLRV and PVURV from home screen. Selecting either item will cause the communicator to display the range calibration screen as shown in the right side image. As you can see, selecting the menu item, PVURV and PVLRV from the range calibration screen will change the display to an edit screen. And the edit screen will allow range to be entered for the URV and LRV as shown in this image. In addition to this, you need to be aware of unit of measure, which is shown next to current URV and LRV. In this example, it is inches H2O. After entering range, press enter button. As you can see, the change will not take effect until they are sent to the device. So, in order to send range to the device, tap the send button. Now, let's learn, how to change calibration values by using device setup function. As you can see, first of all, Select Device Setup function from home screen. In Device Setup menu, we can find various sub-menu options such as Process Variables, Diagnostics or Service, Basic Setup, Detailed Setup, and Review. Select Basic Setup option, and press Enter button. As you can see, Basic Setup option provides menus to change heart descriptive tags, unit of measure, range values, and primary variables damping value. Now, select Range Values option and press Enter button. As you can see, Range Values menu has different options such as Upper Range Value, Lower Range Value, Unit of Measure, Upper and Lower Sensor Limits. Select PVURV and PVLRV menu to bring the edit screen. As you can see, when edit screen appears, you need to enter Upper Range Value and Lower Range Value. After this, Press Enter button to confirm this values. As you can see, the change will not take effect until they are sent to the device. So, in order to send range to the device, tap the Send button. Now, to change the unit of measure, select PV Unit option from Basic Setup menu. And select the unit, which you want to set for the device, and press Enter button to confirm this unit. 
Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this informative video. Please give us valuable feedback in comment box. Because it will help us to improve this channel.